in Barnes and Noble now, and I'm with JT. So what's up, everybody? And y'all already know what section he is. Yeah, man. This is what I like to tell a lot of people, man, is on, like, we all got vices. My vice was I was a sneakerhead. Like, every time Jordan's phone pods, whatever came out, I wanted to buy a pair. So as a businessman, I say, you know, I keep that same energy. And if I come here and I just, you know, browse books, whatever catch my interest, and my budget for books is the same as if I would go buy sneakers. Cause if you will go buy some $200 Jordans that in a month or two you ain't even thinking about no more, you could buy a $200 book that'll teach you how to make $100,000 or more, or at least put you on track to be making more money. So uh, I encourage you out there, if, if you somebody that is like, um, like you don't like reading traditional books, um, check out ebooks. Like while you work out, um, while you in the shower, just put it on your radio, turn it up, or whatever you do, man, while you driving, just start listening to different business books. And you don't gotta listen to it all the time, especially if you new. Um, just listen to a little bit a day. I recommend if you don't know nothing about nothing, start off with the Rich Dad series. Like. It's not a, a sponsored uh, video or anything like that, but Rich Dad's Guide to Investing, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. This guy right here is going to, like, he's going to really challenge the way that you think and make you start thinking like an entrepreneur. But you could just go in whatever direction, in whatever business you want to start. More than likely, somebody has written a book that can give you some knowledge to get started. It might not be specific to exactly what you want to do, but just general business stuff, general marketing, or whatever it is, man. So, hey, we in Barnes & Nobles. Hey, I just challenge you on the next weekend or whatever you off. Just come just look through the business section. You ain't got to buy nothing the first time, but just look at books, see if anything catch your attention, read the back of them, and you never know. I personally say that if I ever go broke, I got enough books to get back on, so just leave it at that.